Hi there, I hope that you're doing well. Today I will be talking about the white life capture and care course I did in South Africa this summer. So uh, in this video I will be talking about the course in general and also about the first week of activities we had. So this course uh, is being um, done in the Western Cape on the garden route close to Muscle Bay and lasts for uh, three weeks. So um, before that, it's advised to do an online course where you have all the pharmacology, all um, the capture techniques and everything is really well explained so that when you arrive in um, South Africa, it's mainly uh, practical, which is really, really nice. So this course has been designed for veterinary students and veterinarians. You're with a group of people, other students or, or vets. In my case, we were all vet students from different grades and some people were from Germany, Austria, France, Romania and it was really really cool like not only like about veterinary stuff and animal but also uh, it's a really human experience so during the week from Monday to Friday you are doing activities related to um, capture and care of wildlife and then um, during the weekend you're free and you can do different activities uh, around because there are really nice cities there and cool stuff you can do around. In the western part of South Africa there are a lot of uh, game farms, so farms where there are wild animals and the animals there are not completely free, they have like really large space. They are mainly used for um, trophy hunting meat and also for tourism. The species you will see during the course really depends on the demand of the moment and it can be quite variable depending on uh, the time of the year as well. When I was there we mainly worked with different species of antelopes. Now I will be explaining the activities I did uh, during the first week. So the first day we went around the house where there are game farms we were on the back of the pickup, which is called Bucky, and we could see different species. So we saw different kind of antelopes. We saw springbok, bontebok, blessbok, impala, sables, elands, kudus, blue wildebeest, niala, hemsbok, waterbucks, etc. We also saw giraffes, zebra, African buffaloes and also rhinos. So one male rhino was coming pretty close to the car and it was quite um, scary but also so exciting to be so close up to such a beautiful animal. We also saw hypos. The second day we went to the Garden Root Game Lodge where we did a small safari and saw a lot of really cool species. We also tracked um, the cheetahs as they had um, some kind of colors and we were with an auntie uh, looking for them in um, the reserve and we ended up finding them with their cubs and it was such a magical moment to see these animals so close we also saw two elephants who came say hi the next days we practiced charging um, syringes and um, injecting drugs in a plastic antelope called a uh, bunny and it was on the back of the pickup while a uh, hind was driving pretty fast <laughs> and it was to practice as in the next days we were going to do the same but on real animals the different steps you need to follow when um, catching an animal depends on the capturing technique but usually the first things to do is to grab the animal's horns if it's a male or on um, the ears if it's a female or a young animal because otherwise you could break the horns then you need to blindfold the animal especially for big ones as it avoids some stimulation and calm down the animal we learned how to charge darts as well as load them in guns we then learned how to dart on bunny from different distances and with different kind of darts and it was really cool that that's one of the part I liked more was uh, darting and I was quite happy because I aimed at all my targets so that's it for this video in the next video we'll be talking about the second and third week as well as all the 
cool activities I did in South Africa. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and to write me a comment on which kind of video you would like me to film next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video or on my Instagram.